Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm Carl. And I'm Diane. We're going to talk about the key things you need to have to build a successful website. The first thing you need to decide is, what is the goal of your website? Is your goal to get phone calls? Then you need the phone number to be prominently displayed. Do you want to drive foot traffic to your business? Then you'd better have your address, a map, and hours of operation front and center. The point is, if people have to scroll through or click to another page to find the information that they want, they're going to go to your competitor's website. The second thing is your site should convey your value proposition. Why should people choose you or come to your business instead of someone else's? Yes, and the third thing, your site should give people a reason to trust you. How long have you been in business? What business organizations do you belong to? What other customers are saying about you? And finally, it's critical to have relevant pictures on your website. Pictures draw people in quickly and tell them what you do. Now, we should also talk about how to build a website. There are four ways to do it. One, you can do it yourself. Two, you can use the do-it-yourself tools that you can find online. That takes care of the technical stuff, but the success of your site will still be a function of the time and energy you put into it. Or three, you can get a guy, like your neighbor's kid who's a technical genius. And then there's the fourth way, to partner with a company that is an expert at all the things you need to make your website successful. Another key for having a successful website is having the right domain name or web address. So here's our friend, Sarah. Hi, thanks, Carl. Sure. When you decide what your web address or domain name is going to be, there are two parts to consider, one on either side of the dot. The first part is the one that you create, the one that's unique to your business. Here are a few tips. It should be simple. Make it easy for your customers to remember your web address. Be as descriptive as possible. If you sell bagels, it's probably not a good idea to have a website named in honor of your favorite pet, no matter how much Whiskers loves your bagels. Your website name even impacts how search engines like Google rank your site. The more relevant your web address is to what people are searching for, the higher it will be placed in search results. And because most websites end in a .com or a .net, those extensions inspire trust when your customers click.